Hello students, myself Sarang Deshpande, the Mathematics Faculty of Global Education Center welcome you all in the second session of Real Numbers. In the previous session, we have seen the classification of numbers and also with that we have discussed about the Euclid's division lemma. In today's session, we are going to solve a special type of problem that you will see in every board paper of CBSE. As you can see, I have written three questions here. These questions can be asked for one or two or three marks, depend upon the difficulty level. So let us start one by one. Question number one, show that every positive even integer can be expressed as 2q and every positive odd integer can be expressed as 2q plus 1. To start with such type of question, we can see that they need a positive integer. So let that positive integer be a. And after that, in Euclid's division lemma, we know that A can be represented as BQ plus R. So the second step will be to find the value of B. Here, as you can see, two digits are given, that is 2Q and 2Q plus 1. So if I compare 2Q and 2Q plus 1, in both the cases, B is replaced by 2. So further we can write, and B is equal to 2. So the first step is, to take that positive integer as a and then we will find a value of b here in this case it is equal to 2 then we can write according to Euclid's division lemma we know that a is equal to bq plus r and value of r lies between 0 and b Correct? So here B was equal to 2. So A is equal to 2Q plus R. Now tell me if I put the value of B here as 2, this will become 0 less than equal to R and less than 2. We know that the value of R will be again an integer. So if we want to select the digits that are present between 0 and 2, there are only two possibilities. That is either the value of r can be 0 or the second possibility is the value of r can be 1. So in both the cases we have to find the value of a. So if r is equal to 0, let us substitute the value of r as 0 in the above expression. Value of a will be equal to 2q plus 0 that is equal to 2q. Correct? And in the second case if the value of r is 1 then the value of a will be equal to 2q plus 1. Now let us discuss about this q. What is q? In Euclid's division lemma we have seen that q is a integer. Now if q is an integer, what is integer? It is basically a whole number which is positive or negative. Here if you put any integer value, 2 into anything integer will always give you a even number. So we can say a is equal to 2q will always give you e1. Similarly, a is equal to 2q plus 1. Now what is 2q? 2q is e1. So e1 plus 1 will always give you odd. So the question was demanding that prove that the e1 integer can be represented as 2q while the odd integer can be represented as 2q plus 1. This is how you are supposed to write the answer. Now let us move on to the second question. Example number 2. Show that any positive integer is of the form 3q or 3q plus 1 or 3q plus 2 for some integer q. Again q is an integer. So how we can start? Let the positive integer be a. And now if you compare the value of B here everywhere you can see it is 3 and B is equal to 3. Therefore according to Euclid's division lemma we can write it as EDL as a short form. So according to Euclid's division lemma we have A is equal to BQ plus R 
and the value of r should be between 0 and b correct so let us substitute the value of b as 3 so this will become a is equal to 3 q plus r and again if i put the value of b as 3 here this will become 0 less than equal to r less than 3 now what is the next step we'll pick the values of r so the first value of r will be 0 next it will be 1 and after that it will be 2 as we cannot take it as 3 since it is not equal to 3 so the first case is r is equal to 0 second case is r is equal to 1 and third case is r is equal to 2 let us substitute the values of r one by one in the above equation so a is equal to 3 q plus 0 the value of r is 0 therefore here value of a is equal to 3 q similarly in the second example if you will see value of r is equal to 1 so a will be equal to 3 q plus 1 therefore the final answer here will be a is equal to 3 q plus 1 and in the last case since value of r is equal to 2 a will be 3 q plus 2 therefore here you can write the final answer is a is equal to 3 q plus 2 it means that any integer any positive integer you can either write it in the form of 3 q or 3 q plus 1 or 3 q plus 2 now let us move on to the third example that is the last example show that any positive odd integer is of the form 4 q plus 1 or 4 q plus 3 where q is some integer again we are going to start with the same dialogue that is let the positive integer be a and similarly we are going to find the value of b i think so till now you have already seen the value of b here is 4 so we can write let a be the positive integer and b is equal to 4 so for that according to Euclid's division lemma we know that value of a can be written as bq plus r and the value of r lies between 0 and b as we know that the value of b we have already written as 4 so if b is 4 then a will be equal to 4q plus r and 0 less than equal to r less than 4 now this is the equation that we have obtained but out of this the question is asking 4q plus 1 and 4q plus 3 should be the odd positive integer while the remaining two can be even we are interested in 4q plus 1 and 4q plus 3 value of r lies between 0 and 4 so what are the possible values of r first possible value is r is equal to 0 if r is equal to 0 then what is the value of a a will be equal to 4q plus 0 and what is 4q plus 0 it is 4q only now let us understand q here it is given that q is a some integer q is some integer and any integer if you multiply it by 4 it will be always even we know the table of 4 right 4 1s are 4 4 2s are 8 4 3s are 12 any integer if you multiply by 4 it has to be even correct now let us take the second case r is equal to 1 so this will be a is equal to 4q as it is plus value of r is 1 we have seen that 4q is even in the first example we have seen even plus 1 will give you odd so here this answer has to be odd again if you take the third case that is r is equal to 2 if you take r is equal to 2 value of a will be 4q plus 2 now let us again think of this what is 4q 4q is even even plus 2 if i ask you takes any even uh, if i ask you take any even number 4q that can be 12 that can be 16 so what is 16 plus 2 16 plus 2 is a even number so here in this case this has to be even so a multiple of 4 plus 2 will give you a even answer and in the last case that is a fourth case if i take the value of r as 3 so this will become a is equal to 4q plus 3 and what is 4q plus 3 we have seen 4q plus 2 is even so if you add one more in that that will become 4q plus 3 it has to be odd so out of these four cases you can see the first case was even the second case was odd 
again the third case is even and the last case was odd so as per the question it says that 4q plus 1 and 4q plus 3 should be odd positive integers and as you can see we have already proved that 4q plus 1 and 4q plus 3 is odd so therefore we can say any positive integer that is odd can be represented as 4q plus 1 or 4q plus 3. I hope students you have understood all the three examples. In the coming videos we are going to take more examples based on Euclid's division lemma. Till then bye bye.